Shook it up. Good afternoon, lovely people. It is Saturday. It is the 11th of May. I've got hyper puppies following me everywhere. I spent the morning doing a plans, battling with a laptop that refused to show my emails and send emails. And um, now I am up, dressed, ready for action. I've had breakfast, I've had lunch, and I'm not gonna go through food today. Well, I will go through one thing. I've just, after getting uh, a muscle food delivery, which is outside my front door, Bailey's patiently waiting for me to open it because she always thinks everything is for Bailey. This week I've been training hard. Yesterday I had a refeed day which had higher carbs, higher fats and my weight was up by a pound today but we don't mind that because after a refeed day that tends to happen. Your weight goes up. It's normal. So don't stress. And um, I'm feeling good. I'm looking good. I've been getting a lot of sleep because Lex has been away and when Lex isn't here, I tend not to stay up as late with him watching series because we binge watch stuff. So I have been binge watching stuff myself, but just not the early hours. He's away on his moto trip down through the UK, through France, and now he's in Barcelona at a stag do. And I am going to the hen of the stag in June to Ibiza so that was kind of like my end goal for my little mini diet feel good about myself. I had one person comment on my video saying that I only seemed happy when I lost weight which I don't think is true and I want to just clear that up because I suppose it was in the title of my last one that lost weight and I'm happy but the main goal of my diet as you would call it or feel good is to do exactly that is to feel better about myself because I've been very down I've been depressed I've been anxious and that's not just me saying oh I'm depressed I've actually been to a doctor and I've been diagnosed with depression and I'm getting through it and I'm not going to dwell on that because Depression is a very individual thing, it's caused by individual circumstance and it's dealt with completely different for every individual. One thing I will say is that I am reading a book called Feeling Good, it's all about cognitive therapy and about changing your inner monologue which for me is very self-deprecating, very negative and it is a common theme with people who are depressed or have suffered from depression is that your thoughts genuinely feel very negative and it's all about how to change that thinking and how to kind of nip it in the bud before you kind of spiral to a negative place. So that's what I've been doing and it has been helping and as a result of me feeling better, I've been eating better, I haven't been binge eating, I haven't felt the need to binge eat, I haven't been very focused on food, I haven't been obsessed with it like I used to be because I don't have to get that dopamine and happiness rush from food that I kind of craved before. So yes, I'm losing weight and yes, I am feeling a lot happier. I'm not saying I'm ecstatically happy. I've had a lot of anxiety the past two days but Lex being away, but I am feeling a lot better in myself as a result my weight has dropped back down to what I feel is a healthy weight for me it's not that I'm underweight um, and I didn't necessarily feel that I was overweight but I didn't feel comfortable in my clothes I tend to be a uh, UK size 6 to 8 and my size 8 clothes were getting tight so now I feel like I'm comfortable I feel good I'm looking good I don't think I look too skinny I don't feel too skinny I feel healthier, I've got like clear skin, I'm drinking loads of water, and um, getting exercise, being generally healthy and happy. So yes, if I put across that losing weight is my end goal to be happy, it is not. They are not linked only in kind of flip reverse it that I've started to feel happier and my weight has dropped as a result. Today um, I was meant to get up early and go to the gym and get a workout in. I am in workout clothes right now but um, I had to do some plans because I do online coaching for diet plans. If you're interested in being coached by me, I have an email 
down below where I can send you prices. Prices start from about £75 for a one-off plan. These are all individually customised. They are not cookie cutter diets. Um, they include macro breakdown, cardio plans. I also have a toning plan there. And then I also do one-to-one -one weekly check-ins, which are a little bit more expensive because you get to check in every week with me and you have that accountability to me specifically. I don't want to ban anyone else doing my plans. So if you're interested in working with me um, or getting into counting macros and tracking your food, hit me up. But today I had a few different plans to do for different people and as I said, my laptop was playing up. It was very annoying because it was sending people other people's plans, which isn't nice. Anyway, hullabaloo over. I got up, I showered, I washed my hair, so I feel a bit more human and clean. I've been texting the husband who's quite hungover in Barcelona after his first night on the stag. And yeah, we're just gonna get through it. I've got my muscle food delivery here, so I'll take you through a few of my favorite things. I did order a lot of snacks on this one. I do an order each month. One month will be very meat laden, and then the next month is more kind of snack laden. So this month, I have some meat in there and regular unprocessed foods, but then there's a lot of snacks for Lex and I, because we do like our snacks. And then when our friends call over, they can have snacks too. So sharing is caring, guys. And I like to try out the new products they have on the go. So I'm sat in the kitchen and like it's half five. Like where has the day gone? So it's actually quarter to six. And I'm gonna have to feed doggos, walk doggos, and I don't know, maybe go to the gym or maybe do some kind of at-home workout. I've actually been to the gym four times already this week, so might just do an at-home workout, do something just to get the adrenaline going. Because tomorrow I am going to Gloucester to meet the hen, Sophie, and we're just going to bring our dogs and have a walk around and there's dragon boat racing on and have a fun day out. So um, today is kind of... My last chill day, I will be back on Tuesday. So that's my plans. Welcome to my life. So here it all is laid out. I just left the box there to make it, you know, aesthetically pleasing. But I'm gonna start down here. I got some of these, I haven't tried them before. They are vegan and I suppose they're kind of like cheese puffs. They come in a variety of flavors. So I've got pickled onion, salt and vinegar and cheese or Either are. And then we have the meat. So meat, we have pizza stuffed chicken breast. So it comes with the stuffing separate and there's two breasts in each pack. And um, they just look really tasty and cheesy and yummy. So I'm gonna try them. I use a lot of the chicken breast mints for burgers and stuff. I get through a lot of bacon medallions cause that's kind of like a staple for my breakfast. And then Lex has kind of fattier streaky bacon, which he likes. And then the two of us are really liking these chicken skewers. You're just so handy, you just throw them in the oven. I love my Eat Lean cheese. So I've got some of the grated cheese and the regular blocks of cheese. Lex likes his high protein bread, just toasted with PB on it. We've got some of these protein Oreos, which are really good actually, and taste quite like an Oreo, but they have the added bonus of protein. Then I've got six things of the Happy Eggs. These are like the smaller ones, and I usually just throw them in the freezer and take them out when I need them. Then I got a lot of protein bars. I just got a bit carried away, to be honest. These are probably one of my favorites. They taste like Frere Rocher. They're Fulfill, which are an Irish brand, and they're chocolate hazelnut whip, and they're really good. Lex is really liking these, the salted peanut grenade bars. For me, they have a lot of fat in them. They're 12 grams of fat, so, I do really think they're delicious. They're probably one of my favorites, but the fat content throws me off a bit. Haven't tried these yet. They're blueberry white chocolate pro to go bars, but I really enjoy the coconut ones and the peanut ones. So I think they should be kind of nice. I kind of think it'd be a nice little change. And um, Stax bars, they taste really good, but you definitely might have an icky tummy after it because very high in sugar alcohols, Sugar alcohols make you poop, so just be wary of them. A lot of the protein bars will have them, but these definitely have a strong laxative effect. 
I got some of this um, Shropshire granola because we live in Shropshire and um, I kind of just like to sprinkle it on yogurt and make it all yummy. Haven't tried these yet but I do love pretzels. These are like a cheesy flavoured one and I like cheesy flavoured stuff. Uh, they're low in fats, high in carbs and they have 3 grams protein. So nice little pre-workout snack. Um, moving swiftly on, I got some of these Nocos. Not really a fan of Nocos, but these are new flavours, so I thought I'd give them a go. Strawberry flavour and the passion flavours. So I'll see if I like them. I'm not really into energy drinks. I'm all about my Pepsi Max, to be honest. Um, they threw in some of these Zero Nitro Americanos. They're just under five grams carbs per tin. I actually have already drank one as I've been unpacking and they're really nice. So nice little free gift and I'll be sticking that in the Although fridge. All that looks like a big ton of food it actually isn't a crazy amount. Oh I forgot about these. They kind of have like a lot of quinoa and stuff and these are like little quinoa mm, what would you call them? They're kind of like a rice cake and they're only like about five grams per cake something crazy like that. Kind of nice with some of the chocolate filly on. Nice little treat from the afternoon. Anyway um, yeah, I went a bit crazy on the protein bars this month. I must have been kind of like craving chocolate when I ordered them all. But next month will probably be a higher meat month because I alternate as I said and we still have a lot of meat in the freezer so don't want to be going crazy. Lex obviously has been away as well so I haven't really been doing a big grocery shop. He is back Tuesday, away again Thursday and then he is back Monday and then he's back no more trips away for a while unless I'm going with him because I miss my husband, I miss having him around. We do spend a lot of time together when he's here and it's quality time and yeah, when you get on with someone and they're your best friend, kind of shit when they're not there. But he is texting all the time and I suppose absence makes the heart grow fonder or something like that. So this has been my morning of the dreaded laptop and it seems to, I don't know if it's even fixed itself. If any computer whizzes are out there, um, my Mac just seems to be running quite slow today. It's been running fine, even just to open up Safari and I updated it, so it's not the update. Anyone wanna help me comment below? I think I'll just feed my dogs now and walk them and maybe just do an at-home workout. I'm just not feeling it today, feeling a bit lackluster. But that's okay. I did like loads of training this week. It's okay. It's okay to have a lazy day. Yesterday I did a good training session and we'll be doing loads of walking tomorrow and I will add in a workout of some kind into the video so you can enjoy some of my workout. I'll probably train quads on Monday and we might include that in this video for you guys. Good morning lucky people. It is the 14th of May, Lex arrives back today. Yay! He's been gone for just over a week. He left last Tuesday. Today's Tuesday, he gets back tonight. We're gonna watch Game of Thrones. So he's been calling me and texting me and making sure I'm okay, but it's obviously very lonesome here in this big old house by myself. So I'm just in my bedroom. Ooh, nearly fell off the seat. And um, today I'm gonna go and do workout. Um, I'm gonna do some cardio because last week Not that I had a bad week or anything, but I didn't do any cardio didn't really get my steps in every day I tried to aim for about 10,000 steps and last week was a bit of crap So this week I'm gonna make up for it because that's all you can do um, I've been eating really good eating like wholesome foods rather than just picking because when uh, for a couple of weeks I had lost my appetite a bit and um, I was just eating what I could and what I felt like could eating so I was just kind of picking at stuff so this week I've been making a conscious effort to eat like whole meals and just make sure I'm feeling healthy and good from the inside out that's all you can do drinking lots of water so I haven't even I woke up at five this morning I think the sun was super bright coming in the window and I'm all excited about having Lex home so I just couldn't sleep so it's now nine I faffed about four hours. I'm gonna go down to the dogs and later on I'm, my hair's all tied up because it's dirty and uh, sticking out all over the place. Uh, I've no makeup on. So I'm just gonna go to the gym and 
no point in making too much of an effort before the gym but I just thought I'd update you guys on how I'm getting on and this is going to be a bit of a higgledy piggledy vlog because I've already done my muscle food a bit of a chat and kablamo we're in the gym Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. to finish off the video by saying thank you thank you for your patience in sticking with me through the last couple of months it has been a difficult couple of months emotionally but I'm getting there and anyone else out there who is feeling overwhelmed feeling anxious um, feeling depressed sad down just know that it can affect anyone it isn't something that is made up in your head you're not over exaggerating it your feelings are always genuine even though sometimes they feel quite overwhelming so just reach out to someone whether it is a friend and um, no one's going to ever judge you negatively on how you feel and maybe even reach out to a professional get some help because that's what i've done and it really has helped it's also helped me in my body image it's helped me to feel a lot more confident in how i look because i'm not judging myself on how I look I'm not judging myself on my weight my goal right now is simply to be happier healthier and all the rest has been coming with it I've been getting back to what I feel is my body and how I feel comfortable so it isn't an obsession with weight it isn't an obsession with the gym it's not an obsession with food for me right now if anything it's a obsession with being content and being happy with how I look and feel generally in life so I'm going to leave the video there I hope you enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed my leg workout and you give it a try they are definitely my top leg exercises for building big strong legs so I will check you next week if you have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see hit me up down below make sure to hit the like button and if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a